Hello Leo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the most intimate thoughts and feelings toward you when it comes to the person that is on your mind. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, these would be the most intimate thoughts and feelings of the person that is on your mind currently. All right, so Leo, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The over Well, first, let me give a disclaimer, quick disclaimer, okay? Some of the words on these cards can be explicit. This is an intimate reading, okay? So I want to apologize ahead of time if anyone gets offended. We are all grown here, okay? All right, so the overall energy of this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward you is wet, okay? Drenched in your essence, okay? So... You arouse this person. Even the thought of you arouses this person. And I feel as though um, if you've had intimate encounters with them, you turn them on like no other, okay? If you have not been intimate with this person, that's what they're feeling like. They're feeling like if the two of you were to come together that they would get really wet, okay? Or they could make you really wet. We also have sweet. I love how you taste. Ooh, okay. Someone else got this. I want to say it was Sagittarius. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, you guys have definitely been, um, you know, drinking your water, eating your fruit, okay? Um, this person loves the way that you taste, okay? So if the two of you have not had any type of oral thing going on, then they may love the taste of your lips or there's something about you. Um, there's something about your body, whatever body part, but they love the way that it tastes. Okay. We also have conflict. I've tried to move on with others, but they haven't been able to take my mind off you. Wow. So this person's conflicted. They've been using other people to try to get their mind off of you and it's not working, okay? And I feel like it's because these other people do not compare to you, all right? They don't. So this person's conflicted in regards to why they can't move on, why they're not able to replace you. And it's because no one else has your energy, Leo. They, they're not gonna find it, okay? They're not. Okay, so let's dive a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle. Spirit, give me more in regards to the person that is on Leo's mind. What is this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward Leo currently? What is this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward Leo currently, Spirit? All right, four more shuffles. And for some of you, if you're wondering who this reading is in reference to, like if you have multiple exes or something of that nature or multiple people that you've been in a relationship with as of recently, it would be whoever is on your mind, okay? Whoever you're thinking about during this reading. If you're not thinking about anyone in particular, it could be that there's someone that you've been involved with that's thinking about you because we can't control what comes out in the spiritual. This is a spiritual reading. And when someone else is thinking about you, they will interfere with your reading, even if you're not thinking about them, okay? All right, so let's see what else comes out for your person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward you. We have curious. I'm wondering if you miss me as much as I miss you. Wow, so they miss you. And the main reason is because they haven't been able to replace you with anyone else. They think about you a lot, okay? So they're wondering if you miss them just as much as they miss you. Mm, so they're curious right now. Give me more spirit in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward Leo currently. What is this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward Leo currently? All right, so we have centered. I feel at home when I'm inside you, okay? No wonder that came out under wet. <laughs> No wonder, okay? So they feel as though the two of you were like your um, intimate regions, your private areas were meant for each other, okay? Were meant to encounter each other. I always say that, that there's no place like home, okay? So this person 
anyone else that they've dealt with, these other people that they've been trying to use to get their mind off of you, those people don't even feel the same way that you do sexually, okay? And even, not even just sexually, on an intimate level, intimacy is more than just sex. It's being close, okay? Being close to each other. And so, um, yeah, when it comes to you, like, they're just very comfortable with you. They feel as though no one else matches your energy or no one else feels the way that you do. There's something about you that's different. We have confession. I keep asking myself, why am I so afraid to tell you how I feel when I have already admitted it to others? So this person has a very, um, they have very deep feelings for you and they actually tell other people, but they don't feel comfortable admitting it to you. We also have obsessed. I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. So this person's obsessed with you. And I feel as though whoever they're telling, um, whoever they're talking to about you, that person knows that this person is obsessed with you. We also have dominate. I like when you take control. So there's something about you that this person likes as far as your dominant nature, like you may um, not hold back when it comes to letting this person know what, what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. Some of you may be dominant on a sexual level. Like you like to be in control. You don't let them do all of the work. For others of you, it may be just um, you putting this person in their place. They like that about you. They really like it. <sighs> okay, give me more spirit in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward... Libra, I'm sorry, Leo, we have thinking, something you said lingers in my mind. So there's something that you said to this person and it lingers in their mind. Hmm. You may have told them they weren't going to meet anyone else like you. That no one else was going to compare to you or maybe they were going to reap what they sold or they weren't going to be able to replace you. Whatever you said, they think about it a lot. OK, also for some of you, um, I feel like since it came out under sweet, there may be something really nice you said to this person at some point and they think about it a lot. We also have not ready. I want you, but I don't want to go all the way yet. Wow. So no wonder they're hooking up with these other people because that came out under conflict. So this person loves your energy. They love being around you, but at the same time, they're not ready for a commitment. Okay. And due to them, them not being ready, they still deal with others and try to find you and other people. And it's not working. It's not working. I also do feel as though whoever they're dealing with, like if they're um, involved with other people, like they don't really want to settle down with them. They don't want to. At the bottom of the deck, we have, yes, you are right. We can't just be friends because I want more. See, this person has a lot of audacity. They're saying they're not ready for a committed relationship, but at the same time, they're saying that they can't just be friends with you. Okay. Wow. Okay, give me one more card, Spirit, in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings. Thank you. We have holding back. Although I find myself very attracted to you, I'm trying not to go too far. So they're holding back. They want you badly, but at the same time, they're holding themselves back. They're very attracted to you. But like I said, they may be holding back because they're not ready for a committed relationship right now. We also have stress. I'm having personal problems right now that is taking all of my attention. So for some of you, this person, if they started holding back from you suddenly, if, you, if you've if you been involved with them loosely, it's because they're stressed out about some type of personal problem. Okay. Okay. Give me two more cards, Spirit, for this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Leo currently. Hmm, we have exactly two that came out. So let's see. Perfect. Your body is perfection to me. So, yeah, they feel as though you are perfect. Even if you don't feel as though um, you are perfect, they feel as though you're perfect inside and out. They're very attracted to you physically. Irreplaceable. I've tried to replace you, but it didn't work. I still want you. See, they're still saying they want you. And we just saw that before that they've been trying to move on with others or 
use other people to get you off of their mind and it's not working because they are realizing you're irreplaceable. Hmm. So they still want you, but they're holding back. This person's so conflicted. It, it's not even funny. I'm hearing narcissist for some of you. They may be a narcissist. We have confused. Everything I'm looking for, I seem to find in you. Hmm. So everything that they're looking for by dealing with these other people, they're not finding it in them. It's in you. Okay. Everything that they want in, in a significant other, they find it in you. But at the same time, they're confused as to why they can't find it anywhere else. And it's because it's you. They can't just, you know, um, energy doesn't work that way. Like they can't find your energy in anyone else. Oh, they're so conflicted. This, oh, okay. All right, so Leo, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family and definitely hit that notification bell so that you will receive an alert whenever I post messages from Spirit to you. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.